So we have our pieces for our boat here. They've already been scarfed and sanded. So they're not perfect. Don't worry, we're going to cover it in fiberglass. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here with the bottom and we'll start at the front. If you lay these flat on the table, you would notice that there's kind of an inward bulge here at the front. That's where we want to put tangent. We want to start. So we line them up and I've already done this, but you want to drill some holes in here for your zip ties to go through. So take the drill bit about the same diameter as the width of the zip tie so that it'll go straight through the hole without being without binding up. All right, we've also cut some pieces of PVC pipe. What this does is that when the zip tie goes through the holes to pull this together, this piece of PVC will go here to keep the boards aligned. What happens without the PVC sometimes is that you'll put the boards together and you'll work your way down and one will slide behind the other or they'll buckle in or buckle out. And we don't want that to happen. We want to keep them just like this. So this PVC will hold them in place. So we'll start here at the center. We'll place PVC in a zip tie. We'll work our way to the front. Once we pull the front together, then we'll come back to the center portion and work our way back. stitching our keel all the way down to the transom. Now we've started working up each side with the chime. This side's already done, now we're going to do this side. Our spacing for our holes is about 8 inches at the transom. As we work forward, once we get in here to the develop our compound curvature, we're going to go back to 2 to 3 inch spacing. We use 2 or 3 pieces of PVC in the back just to help our wood, just like we did up front. So we've zip tied from the transom up to our front bulkhead. We've got our holes about four inches apart here. We come up to about three at the front. You only come about this far up. What we're going to do is this last hole, we'll grab the bottom and pull it to the side and sandwich the chine. There's no need to zip tie to the chine. We use PVC at the top to push our boards apart. At the bottom we won't need it. 